Henry VIII was the king of England from 22nd April 1509 until his death in 1547. During those time the church of England used to influence the monarchy. Henry VIII was against this meddling of the church in the administrative decisions and so he removed the pope and the authority of church and he appointed himself as the supreme head of the church of england and dissolved all convents and monasteries now imagine how much courage and spirit one may need to bring this great transformation and how difficult it must be in challenging the power of the church and the pope during those times it was not an easy thing to do but rahu in anuradha loves all kind of challenges and they successfully bring the change they desire henry 8th the king of england had rahu in anuradha nakshatra henry 8th is often described by historians and scholars as one of the most charismatic rulers to sit on the english throne and his tenure has been described as the most important in english history something new something strange always happens with native having rahu in anuradha nakshatra now look at henry 8th he married 6 times anuradha is ruled by saturn Interestingly Saturn rules all three nakshatras namely Pushya Anuradha and Uttara Bhadrapad and they all belong to watery signs namely Cancer Scorpio and Pisces All three watery signs that I just mentioned that is Cancer Scorpio and Pisces are highly emotional signs and look at the facts Saturn just loves all of these three signs else how come all the three nakshatras of Saturn would fall in these three emotional signs you tell me and so today i want to debunk the misconception that saturn knows no emotions that is a total myth saturn loves emotions that is why saturn bless those who serve the poor the needy only an emotional person will serve the poor one who has heart that beats with compassion and love and so my friends i tell you that saturn is emotional but he is not an emotional fool saturn is emotionally intelligent emotional intelligence is the essence of lord saturn 